Welcome to Device Setup channel and today we will learn how to update the firmware of any TP-Link Wi-Fi extender model. So this method works for all TP-Link extender series be it RE220, RE550, RE650, RE600X etc etc. So to start with I assume you have already set up your TP-Link extender and it is plugged into a power source with stable power LED. And if you have not set up the extender yet, then check the video in the description on how to set it up first. Before we start the firmware update, make sure to connect an Ethernet cable from extender to the computer. And it is not recommended to update the TP-Link extender firmware wirelessly. Also, do not power off the extender during the firmware update as it can corrupt the system. I also recommend you to backup the extender configuration once. You can watch our video on how to backup the deep link extender configuration. Now there are two methods to update the firmware. First is via app and second is via browser. Let's learn how to update it through app first. The shown models on the screen can be updated using deep link tether app and others can be updated using browser method. Now you will need to simply open your deep link app and then click on TP-Link Range Extender. Next, tap on Tools on the bottom right hand corner and then go to System and then tap on Firmware Update. Once you do that, it will show you if there is any new firmware available. If yes, then simply click on Update. It will take around two to five minutes for the extender to update your firmware. After this, the extender will reboot and then you will be able to see your extender network again in your Wi-Fi list. You can then connect your devices back again to the extender network. Now for the browser method, use a phone or computer and connect it to the TP-Link extender network showing up in your Wi-Fi list. Once connected, open a browser on the same device and into the URL type tplinkrepeater.net. This will open the TP-Link login page. There it will ask for password. So type the one that you created during initial setup. And if you don't remember, then you can try the default password that is admin. Now, if you can't recall your admin password also, then you will need to reset the TP-Link extender. You can watch the video in the description on how to do it. Nevertheless, on the login page, click on system tools and then on the firmware update, now there are two methods to upgrade the firmware. The easiest one is to check online option in which once you click on upgrade, it will check for any latest firmware version available and then will update automatically with your permission. In second option, you will have to download the firmware version from download center of TP-Link website and then upload it to your TP-Link extender. So first, go to the download center. The link is given in the description here. There you will need to select range extender under home and then network expansion and then select the model number of your extender. Once selected, tap on firmware tab. Now it is very important for you to first confirm the hardware version of your extender and only download the firmware available for that hardware version. Because if you download and upload the wrong version, then it can damage the extender and can also void the warranty. So you can find the hardware version information on the sticker pasted on the extender or you can check online too on your extender's login page. So on the firmware download page, tap on the download option to download the firmware. It will be saved on your local computer. Next, you will need to extract the file. You can right click on the file and then click on extract files. Now back on the extender page, click on browse and then select the file which you have extracted. It is going to be .bin file that you have to select and then hit on upload or open. Now the firmware upgrade will take around two to five minutes depending upon your internet speed. Finally, you can go to your Wi-Fi list and connect to the TP-Link extender network showing up in the Wi-Fi. So this is how you can upgrade the firmware of your TP-Link extender. Lastly, if you found the video useful, then please do like and subscribe to support my channel. Also, you guys can hire me for any technical issues related to your routers, extenders, printers, security cameras, or any other Wi-Fi devices. So you simply just need to email me on fixallissues07 at gmail.com and please don't forget to mention your issues and I'll fix it for you on nominal charges. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.